What's up, ladies and gents? And today we're going to be talking about the auction house, okay? Day? Okay, I probably shouldn't make Jar Jar Binks references. That probably be a good way to lose subscribers if uh, you haven't already clicked off. But anyway, anyway, I digress. Um, one of the most asked questions on my uh, Diablo videos is not that exactly how I get shit done. It's about how I get shit done on the auction house because apparently lots of gold is uh. In a rare, rare abundance today, apparently. Apparently not, considering when you look at these fucking weapons. I mean, you think I have a lot of money? I mean, shit, I can't even afford the best weapons, so... Anyway, that, but that's a different story for a different day. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to be talking about my strategies for selling items on the auction house. And, uh, I got this belt um, from my last, uh, run. It's, it's... I think it's pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, it's not fantastic, but someone will definitely want to buy it. And uh, it's got it's got a lot of primary stats. And when you're looking to sell any item, anything with uh, vitality and either in strength, dex, or uh, intelligence, uh, that is something that can be sold on the auction house. Now, once you hit level 60, that might change a little bit because those two stats alone won't just cut it. You're going to be looking for things like um, all resistances. Um, if it's a vitality dex item, if it has any resist whatsoever, like if it just had, if this belt was 154 dex and had that 44 arcane resist, this item would be amazing for monks because. Um, what monks have is they have a passive that allows them to stack one resistance, for instance, arcane, and um, they turn on that passive, and all of a sudden they will that 44 arcane resist will turn into 44 all resist. So they only need to stack one resist, and if that item has uh, resist all as well, you get a little double stacking, and so all of a sudden that all resist turns into 67. So it also helps to understand just. The, a little bit of the basics of what other classes are looking for in their items like barbarians for instance they want massive vitality that because they get a bonus armor from vitality they obviously want to all resistances because they have a uh, war cry that increases their resistances and pretty much I think everyone in general wants resist all because in inferno the more damage reduction the more better and that's what all resistance provides is a end game stat but anyway so the basics you want prime you want two primary stats vitality and one other stat preferably you, you, pr you want them to be maybe about 75 each at least now that either or can be a little bit lower depending on how much of the other stat you have so it's uh so yeah, like this belt, it, it doesn't have too much vitality, but that's made up by the fact that it has incredible amounts of intellect, and when someone looks at this item, they might say, wow, that has a ton of int, I'll just make it up for an item somewhere else, make up that vitality, or maybe since it's a wizard or a witch doctor thing, they don't care, they see the intelligence, see the all resist, it's pretty good, and also as a bonus, you want uh, any of these vanities, I, I like to call them vanity stats, or maybe bonus stats would be more fitting. Anything with like extra gold, MF especially, regenerates life. All pretty good bonus stats, even a health glow bonus. Health globe, uh, health bonus, it's all pretty good. So the more stats, the more better. And the more stats means the more money you can get out of your item. And you'll notice I equipped it here, not because I like this belt so much, because it'll make uh, what I'm about to do a lot easier. But first, before anything else, before you want to sell on the auction house, you want to compare to the items that are already on the auction house that have like stats. So the primary stats, which uh, most people will probably look for, is they probably put in, when they're looking to make a purchase, is probably all resistances and their primary stats. This is what I do for my gear. It might change uh, depending on if I'm for my fine tuning, like for gloves, attack speed. But since it's just a belt, it really doesn't come with anything much more than this, aside from um, percentage of life. But we don't have that, so I'm not going to worry about it. And um, you kind of want to undershoot um, your stats here, so you don't want to go. Um, you don't want to search for a belt, you know, that has the exact same same stats. You want to get an, get an idea of kind of what's on the market. So this has 154 ints and 70 vitality, so we're going to put that at 125 ints and about 55 vitality. We'll sort by buyout because I, this belt, it's not not that amazing, so no, no, real, no reason to um, 
trying to sell it off for a hundred million, which this definitely is not worth. This guy's a fucking idiot, and he's wasted a uh, an auction slot. But who knows? Maybe, maybe a gold farmer will come and make his day. I doubt it, but whatever. And oh, yeah, we should probably switch it to belt. That'd be smart. Don't want to compare belts with helmets. Completely different market. You want to sort by buyout. And uh, you don't want to put in a buyout price because you want to look at the items that are being currently bid on. And you can tell if something is being bid by just hitting on bid. And if the, uh, the max bid is obviously different than the current bid that someone is looking at it, that is someone, someone has actually put gold down on that. And so that means that item is being looked at. And if someone has put a bid on it, chances are there are other people out there who are bidding on it. So that's something to keep in mind. And we'll see, this belt is going for 3.5 million. We'll compare stats. And we'll see it has a little bit more and a little less vitality, but a ton more resistances. And you want to take that into account because, you know, this belt only has 23, 23 resistances, but this one has 50 more, more than 50. And it's going for 3 million. And that'll just, this just gives you an idea. You know, you got to scout the market. So you're obviously not going to be selling this for 3 million. Uh, this has more resistances too. Very comparable stats. Check to see if someone's bid. Yep, someone's bid on it. So it's not going to sell, you know, for this much. And then you just you just go down the list and compare, see what's on the market. You see this belt, very comparable. A lot more resistant, even closer to a million. Does it have a bid on it? Yes, it sure does. And just just keep going down, keep comparing. Six million. Someone have a six million bid? Oh my god. Oh, that explains it. Tons of in intellect, tons of vitality, tons of all resist, and MF. MF is a big money maker. Never, ever, ever try and undersell uh, MF. Try and get your money's worth on those types of items, especially when they have good, pri great primary stats like this. So it looks like all oh, this stuff. What about this one? This one. This one actually have in 235. Oh, yeah, someone's actually bid on that. Yeah. Another thing to keep in mind is you want to pay attention to the time left because if you see something that has like two hours left and it doesn't have a bid on it, it's either. Most people, at least from what I can tell, if they see an item and they, they're going to put a bid on it because they want to keep track of it because this game does not allow you to like right, right click on it and track the item, which is stupid and the only way to really keep track of it and not lose it is to put a bit on it and so like say, let's say for instance let's go to the next page here um, we see this this has 20 21 hours left it's been up for um, a little more than a day and a half uh, pretty comparable belt and it's only got 50,000 bit on oh, that kind of makes me sad but no, actually, that, yep, that does make me sad. And uh, you want to keep, uh, like I said, the time left in mind because if it has, like, uh, especially on these items with buyouts and very um, with, uh, very low d discrepancy between the bid and buyout, like this item, like, usually if, it ha if it's made it this far and no one's bought it out, chances are no one's going to buy it because it's overpriced as fuck. Uh, look at this. Like, no one wants to pay... You know, eight hundred thousand for this, when they can get better for you know a lot, a lot more fair price. And this is another thing that uh, I want to talk about. It's like ideally, yeah, you want to get the most bang for your uh, for your item, but at the same time, you want to move your items as fast as possible as well. Now, granted, if you don't play as much, you might be able to get away with this, but. Um, for those who play a fair amount, you want to never be sitting on 10 auctions that have um, like a day left because if no one is buying that stuff and no one is buying this stuff and then you can't sell anything because of that limit, you can't cancel it, so you'll be shit out of luck for the next day. And um, you have to keep in mind, this is also very important, it's like as time goes on, more and more people will be... Um, more and more people will be, be will be progressing through the game, getting further and further and further, and thus that means the longer you wait, the cheaper your item your item is going to get because that's that many more people um, out there, you know, grinding the content, finding great stuff, and you know, more and more people finding the same type of type of item, prices go down because there's more of it on the auction house, unless it's a godly item, but we're not dealing with godly items here. <laughs> 
probably not too many godly items on the auction house, and if there are, probably no one can pay for it, or they're waiting for the real money auction house anyway. But different discussion, different day. So let's take a few more looks at the uh, the wares here. Yeah, n no, definitely no one's going to be buying this. And so take a look at what is being bid on. Let's see, this has a oh, this has a 500k bid. This is that's fair bit better than mine because of how much I wouldn't say a fair bit but let's see does someone have a bit on this 700 wow 700,000 my belt is I would definitely say it's better than that and so this this is but pretty comparable if someone has actually bid on it eight hours left and so keep this in mind and when I sell stuff I always put a uh, put a and by the way I'm not sure if I mentioned it but I equip it because it's so you can compare items without switching back and forth, back and forth. This just makes it easier. So there that is. So this gives me an idea. I think I say this, and bah, I'm losing. I'm starting to stutter. That's not good. Um. So that belt, we we're going to use this one for reference. 700k bid on it. It's got you know more or less the same primary stats, more or less the same all resistance, plus bonus arcane resist. You know, probably pretty meh for a. Uh, for uh, range and a lot class, they shouldn't be getting getting hit by arcane anyway. But the real kicker is is you get bonus gold and some life regen, both of which are good bonus stats to have. And so I'm going to price this at let's get the bid started at 100k. Get rid of any low ballers just in case for whatever reason people collaborate and decide not to try and snipe your uh, item for two. So you don't want to put the starting price too low and you don't want to put it too high because at the end of the day you want to sell the item through and through. So that is 700k. Uh, let's make this attractive to look at and put it at 650k. Yeah, yeah I think that's pretty good. Currently, oh, oh whoop, yeah, okay to sell anyway. I've got me a string of airs. I'm good. I'm good. Trust me, game. And uh, that's pretty much how I sell all my items. It's not an easy pro, or I shouldn't. It, it is easy, but uh, it's not the. Uh, it's not a quick process. So you, you got to do your research. You got to look around the market, see what's going, what what people are putting gold on, so on and so forth. And if you're getting discouraged because you're not making any gold. Um, there's probably one of three reasons why that is. One, you're not of Asian descent. Um, you know, Asians, in these games especially, known for Chinese farming. I am half Asian. I have to have a lots of gold by default, so I fit that build. Two, um, you have you have to play a lot. Uh, or maybe not, you don't have to you know sink your whole life into it, but you do have to play a fair amount. I myself average probably five, six, seven runs a, a day. I can finish these runs in about 30, 45 minutes. So there that is. Um, consistency is key here in playtime. Or three, you just flat out have bad luck. Now don't get discouraged if like your friend he only plays like one hour a day and he's sitting on 20 million gold because chances are. He's either incredibly fucking lucky and has a horseshoe stuffed up his ass, or he has a lucky four-leaf clover, in which case you need to go over to his house, find it, and steal it for yourself, because that is a lot of gold to be sitting on. But, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of it does come down to luck. I mean, that's the way Diablo has always been. Um, I mean, it's not like you're gonna, you know, let's take Diablo 2, for instance, you know, run... Act 3 Hell Mephisto, you know, 20 times. Are you going to get that Shaco? Chances are probably not. It's going to take a few tries, and even then, you still probably won't get it. And, you know, don't get discouraged when I say that. It's because you will find other items that are of worth, just not to you. Like that belt. This belt, I mean, the belt I just put up, absolutely worthless to me. You know, I don't have a wizard. I don't care to make a wizard or a witch doctor at the moment, so I'm going to get rid of it. And if this does sell for six hundred fifty thousand, you know you can definitely buy something pretty, uh, pretty good for yourself with that kind of money. So, you know, it's just just because you're not finding gear for yourself does not mean you can't find gear for other people that they will buy, which means giving you money to buy what you want. I mean, that's that's the way Diablo has always been. It's always been a bartering game. So keep that in mind. And so that's pretty much it. And I've got some. See, I had something here I wanted to sell. I thought some, I had some gloves. 
some gloves here. Pretty much more or less the same thing, except the bonus stats on it really aren't too uh, too appealing. So we'll go to gloves. We'll lower the what is the I should probably probably should have equipped this, but we'll we'll manage. We'll drop this to a hundred and fifteen int. All resistances. Ugh. I'll just leave it at twenty since it's close enough. Okay, let's see what we get here. Let's see, take a look at what's being bid on right now. Wow. Only 161,000, huh? That'll probably go up before the day is over, definitely. Let's see, does this have a bid? Yes, it does. 100k. Man, all this, all these items that are being bid on have tons of resist, so... My item, probably not worth so much. This, more or less comparable. Let's see... Just because you might think something is worth a lot doesn't mean everyone else who's looking at these items is worth a lot. 600k, so this item, even though it has, you know, stats aren't too bad on it, I'll probably let this one go for pretty cheap. 81,000 81, for that, look at that, see, 50. All resists, that is, that is your money maker at level 60. Anything with all resist and primary stats, the more... The more of each stat, the more money you're looking to make. So, look at this. Seven bit, 13,000. Oh man, this is putting my item to shame. Oh, this is not gonna go for very much. I should just disenchant this, but. Well, 10,000 makes someone's day. Eh, I'm gonna go a little bold here. Start the bit. I wanna make sure I at least make more than what I could sell for salvaging the. Uh, Materials here, and and we'll just sell it for ten thousand. Oh, not a hundred thousand. That's one too many zeros. Well, not as much as I'd like to make, especially since ten thousand at uh, my gold level won't really account for much. But what can you do? It's better than uh, the for the uh, the 3,000 that I'd make from salvaging it. And by the way, with level 60 items, you definitely want to um, be salvaging anything that won't sell in the auction house. Because, just go down, Inferno, hit 1. As you can see, 1 Exquisite Essence, which is what you're guaranteed for salvaging anything, is 1,800. And most, let's look at this, you know, this bow, for instance, um, sells for a thousand to the vendor, but the material that it salvages into sells for eight for seventeen hundred right now, and you know not much of a difference, um, you know individually, but you get multiple blues throughout your um, your dungeon runs, so you know that adds up over time. You know this only sells t t for five hundred gold to the vendor, but on the auction house salvages into seventeen hundred gold. And what did I just sell? Dredge strategy? What was that? Was that the gloves? Oh, well, see the belt. And come, give me my goddamn gold game. There we go. See. Now, don't be discouraged if you if it sells too fast because, I mean, I don't really care. I, chances I've probably undersold a lot of items, but 500k is nothing to laugh at. And you know, honestly, the faster I get the gold, the better, because you know that just frees up an auction slot and. You know, once you see that big sale of something like that, you know, it gives you... <laughs> man, this is about to sound fucking nerdy as shit. It just gives you that confidence to, you know, keep on playing, you know, keep on trucking. You know, even if you have a bad run, you know, the next, you know, you have to look back and say, Hey, I sold an item for 550k, you know, just not 20 minutes ago. So, you know, it's just the way it works. It's not too bad, and now we've broken the broken the 20 million mark. Not too shabby, but anyway, you want to salvage anything that uh, won't sell in the auction house if it's level 60. Um, sometimes level 59 items can salvage into these inferno materials. Um, I haven't had a very good uh, good uh, luck draw, I guess, on that, so I usually just vendor level 59 items. But if it's level 60, definitely salvage it if it's not something you can put on the auction house. Um, for rares, I would say the price, like if it vendors and it's not a very good item, and it, if it vendors to the to the guy for like 2,500, you might want to just go ahead and uh, vendor that, because you have to take into account the 15% uh, price gouge that the auction house takes from. Like I sold that thing for what, 650? 
I don't even rem remember what I priced it at, but or six hundred thousand, I think it was, and uh, or six. I don't even remember. I'll have to go back. But they take they take a good chunk of it, and you have to account for that when uh, you're salvaging some of these items because they do vendor for quite a bit. So that's pretty much it for my auction house stuff. I didn't think I'd be talking about it for that long, but it's really not a simple process. It's uh, a lot of this game is dealing with the auction house and. You know, there's really no way around that if you want to progress in this game, because 9,999 times out of 10,000, you are probably not going to get a full set of all this gear. You are not going to find this on your own. So at the end of the day, you have to find stuff that is worth something to someone else so that you can get what you need for yourself in order to progress through the game. And this is the way that Diablo works, and if that's not your thing, Diablo really isn't the game for you unless you plan on, you know, playing this many hours at a time over the span of many, many months. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have anything to add that I may have missed for auction house techniques, feel free to share them in the comments. People, keep an eye on those comments. Maybe someone will have something good to add to the conversation here. And the smarter auction house you are, the better because it will mean better priced items, more gold for everyone, people getting gear, so on and so forth. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, peace soup.